Hi, today we are here to talk about paint thickness gauges, who needs them, and how to use them. If you want to learn more, stay tuned. We're going to go over those details next. Hi, I'm Todd Cooperwriter with Esoteric. Like I said, we are here today to talk about paint thickness gauges. In particular, this one is a Positest DFT from DeFelsco. DeFelsco has been around a long time and they specialize in high-end measurement tools. The DFT, there's a couple different versions of this. There's the standard one and there's the combo. We're here to talk about the combo. And what does that mean? It means it measures both ferrous and non-ferrous substrates. What does that mean? It means steel or aluminum. So it's gonna cover most of your cars. This is not gonna measure through plastic bumpers or carbon fiber. They have got higher level uh, models for that. So this DFT been around for a long time. Matter of fact, I've got my old beat up uh, case right here with my Positest DFT. I've been using this for about 13 years. Um, this thing has traveled around the country with me. It's been used on about every kind of car. It still works great. But this one, it is a newer design. It's got a couple of nice newer features. You know, turning it on, this one has a much nicer display to it, a little bit easier to read than the old style. Okay, before I get into some of the details, let's talk about who needs a paint thickness gauge. When do you want to use it? Well, we're here on a detailing channel, so obviously it's something that detailers need to seriously think about it. And we've talked about it in other videos when you want to use a paint thickness gauge. To us here at Esoteric, paint thickness gauge mostly is like an insurance policy. It is going to give us any warnings of any problems that there might be with the paint, any repainted panels. I can go around, I can take measurements and what I'm looking for are inconsistencies. So if I'm reading this panel here and it's average 100 to 110 microns, the panel on the other side should be about the same thing. You're looking for areas that are reading really low or really high. Both of them are equally as dangerous. So like on this 1988 M3 right here that we're doing a major project on, if I'm going for heavy paint correction, I want to make sure that I've got plenty of material to work with. If I read this and I find that the, the measurements are relatively low, then I'm gonna be a little bit more cautious in my approach and I am not going to go for as aggressive of a paint correction. Another way to use this, let's say you're a person who likes buying and selling cars. You use a paint thickness gauge, go around the car, take measurements, look to see if it has had any repaint or body work done that can save you some costly money. Maybe it'll help you make a decision whether you're gonna buy the car or not. Uh, so like I said, the insurance policy aspect of these is very, very important. Now, usually when we're doing paint correction, we're not taking measurements and doing a compound and then taking other measurements and finish polishing, taking other measurements. That's great when you're in that learning phase to get an idea of how much you're removing but we're not monitoring it like that. It's more looking around the panels to try to find any issues that could uh, be costly for you if you have an oops moment. Okay, let's go back to this unit here and talk about it uh, a little bit. This measures, I said, ferrous and non-ferrous. It will tell you right on the gauge what kind of metal substrate uh, that it is once you put it uh, down on the surface. This is going to measure both in mils and in microns. Mill is about 25 uh, microns. Um, a lot of the cheaper gauges only measure in mils. And to me, that's not accurate enough. I want the finer measurements in there with the microns because the difference in two, three, four microns can make uh, a big difference. So you just go into the menu here and you can switch um, your, your mils and microns on it. Um, I'll switch it back out of here. Uh, this is also going to tell you, uh, you can set it up so it does a average. So if I'm going around the car, let's say I'm going around the hood and I want to take 20 or 30 measurements, it will give me an average of what all those measurements are. Uh, or if I want to find out what uh, the average is around the entire car. Now this does not have a memory, you cannot download this. That's some of the more expensive units that they have available. 
This one's just pretty uh, straightforward. But typically speaking, you don't need to you know, download the stuff and put it in a chart, you know, whatever else. Uh, it's really not that important to be able to uh, do it, at least for uh, detailers. So you've got microns, you've got mills. All right, what is a, a micron? How thick is paint? Paint can be, you can measure stuff that's gonna be in the low range of 80. Uh, most OEM refinished cars, you can get upwards of about 150. What does that mean? What does that translate? Well, a strand of human hair is usually between 75 and 100 microns. So if you think about that, it really puts it into perspective of how little material is on the surface of the car and why you wanna make sure that there is enough to work with. You get down in some really low readings. We've had some cars come in where we've planned on doing a major paint correction and you find out it's you know, 45 to 50 microns thick. I'm gonna stop right there and say, a extremely light polish is all we're gonna do. There's just not enough material left over. And that's where having a gauge like this is going to uh, come in handy. Uh, another nice new feature about this one compared to my old unit is, you know, you can put it down on the surface, it's gonna take my measurement, but then when I go over to the side and I wanna do it on a vertical surface, um, it automatically detects that you're doing that and rotates the readout. On the old unit, you had to, to change a setting on it. Uh, this way, I can go back and forth. See, it just pop right back up. I can go back and forth from the horizontal surfaces to the vertical surfaces, and it's automatically going to uh, make that change for me. Really straightforward, easy to use, um, incredibly accurate, goes up to about 400 mils or 1,000 microns, so you're not gonna run into any painting that's gonna be thicker than that. Like I said, mo most cars you're gonna find 100 to 150 in the normal range. Uh, very accurate unit, great to have, comes in a nice protective case. Uh, you also get a wrist strap with it. Nice thing about this, you don't have to do much in terms of calibration compared to cheap uh, units out there on the market. This one's gonna last you a long time, like this one has for us, and it's gonna save you from any costly mistakes if you didn't know how much material was on the car before going into paint polishing. Okay. Now that sums it up about this unit. DeFelsco's got other uh, units out there that we're selling. We'll put together a separate video on that. Now, you wanna learn more about the paint polishing process that goes in combination with this. Check out uh, the next video, a lot of great tips on there. As always, we appreciate you hanging out with us here on the Esoteric channel. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.